Rivers and canals are an amazing place to photograph. Interesting people, interesting textures, interesting wildlife. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make the most out of movement and texture. Anytime you've got moving water, it's an opportunity to use a long shutter speed. Using a long shutter speed means that everything that moves during your exposure is gonna be nice and blurred in the final image. The trick here, because we're shooting on a bright day, is to use this neutral density filter, a piece of glass that goes over our camera and cuts down the amount of light coming in, letting us get at longer shutter speeds even though we're in nice bright light. So this frame which has moving water in it, what we're going to do is we're going to use the expert mode in our camera to shoot a long shutter speed of about a tenth of a second. We've got a neutral density filter on the front of the camera which is cutting down the amount of light coming in. And then apart from that, the key thing with this frame is to make sure the only thing moving is the water coming over the waterfall. As we frame up, we're gonna use the volume button on the camera to fire the shutter rather than having to move our hand to reach the button on the screen. And that's gonna let us get a steadier frame. The only thing that we want moving in this image is the water itself. Everything around it should be as sharp as we can get it. Rivers are amazing places to look for texture, not just natural textures in the water and on the bark on the trees, but also for man-made objects, particularly man-made objects which are being left to go back to nature and rusting and going off. So here, for example, we have this really interesting structure which is peeling and fading, and it's looking really weathered. We've got all of this nice kind of orange rust on the side, and orange and reds are a really interesting color. So this frame is all about juxtaposing the rust and the texture and the decay on the side of this box with the river flowing behind it. We're maximizing that by getting our camera really close to our texture here. And when we focus on things that are close to the camera, we get very tight depth of field. And that means that our river behind is not only softer in its texture just because of what it is, but it's also softer because it's defocused. Other than that, we're gonna put this really strong vertical line straight down the middle of our frame to break things up. And we're gonna hit the button and come away with a really interesting composition. 